I'm Hallie Gordon, and I'm here with Rob Gabelhoff from MU Wire. So the election was yesterday. How did Marquette students respond? Well, it's pretty interesting. Uh, they, they responded a little bit more conservatively than the city, uh, but a lot more liberally than the rest of the state. Mm -hmm. um, the breakdown for the six boards that Marquette students voted in um, went 58% uh, to Burke, 42 to Walker. Um, of course, you have to take into account that this isn't just Marquette students voting in these wards. It's also people from the area. Um, but for the most part, I would say that that's Marquette students voting. Um, overall, we had about 2,200 votes in this okay. area. So um, yeah, it, it's, it was a little different than I would have expected. Um, what were you expecting, really? You know, I, I think it'd be a little tighter in, in a conservative campus like this, I mean, com considering how um, other other colleges are a little bit more liberal than uh, the market base. I was, I, was gonna, I was expecting it to be a little more uh, tighter than that, but it is expected that uh, a Democrat will fall out over a Republican in a younger, uh, especially liberal city like this. Do you think it's surprising that Walker is um, victorious for a third time specifically? Uh, you know, it, it's really, it's, it's Wisconsin. You can never really guess what's happening in Wisconsin. Uh, I don't think anybody was willing to make a for sure statement about what was going to happen. It's a, it's a very purple state. So, surprised? It surprises me every time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> very true. Um, so the Republicans do now have control of the Senate. So um, what will this mean for Obama in the future of uh, policymaking, you think? Well, uh, it will, we'll have to see, you know. Uh, right now, uh, the, the GOP has control of 52 seats in the Senate. Um, they gained quite a lead uh, in the Senate now, how they have control. Um, and in the House, they also gained about 10 seats, too. So uh, what we're about to see is uh, very probably not much happening <laughs> in Congress, mm -hmm. um, especially because they won't be able to get things through with Obama, um, and Obama probably won't be able to get any of his measures in. But, you know, there's, there's some uh, cooperative language coming out uh, in the news today, so maybe we'll see something happening. What, what do you think's next for the Senate? Next for the Senate? Uh, we'll have to see. I, I, there's, a, there's quite a few initiatives that they're talking about. Um, you know, thinking about what the results were, why do you think it was the, was the Republicans that uh, won? Yeah, uh, it was a massive GOP wave this, this time around. Um, even Illinois saw a big wave, and that's a solid blue state. You know, it, it, it's difficult to, to figure this out um, because they're going into this um, election with a rising, a rising economy, uh, GDP is going up, uh, job unemployment is going down. Yeah, it, it's difficult to figure out why the voters decided to go the alternate route um, and not stick with the incumbents in power uh, for the rest of the company. Who knows? Thank you. Yes. Uh, Aaron, back to you.